What is going on, Trash Talkers? We're back with another episode for you. In today's video, we're going to give you our predictions for the playoffs in the NFL. All that and much more coming your way right now! Hey Trash Talkers, over 85% of you are still not subscribed to the channel. Please be sure to hit that red subscribe button and turn on notifications as it will help us create more daily content for you. Thank you and enjoy today's video. All right, Nick. Well, as you guys can see, these are the current playoff standings that we have to deal with. And honestly, a lot of teams that I didn't expect to be seated where they are, especially in the AFC, we're, to we're taking a look at the Buffalo Bills at seven and the New England Patriots at one. You have the entire AFC East being the bread of your sandwich while you still see the Baltimore Ravens at three and the Cincinnati Bengals slightly behind them at six. The Kansas City Chiefs are starting to surge, but they still sit at four. They have a tough ladder to climb in the, in the NFC. It's pretty straightforward. The top five teams are pretty much set at this point. And then you have six and seven who are, may flip-flop. Maybe another team could enter the fray with the Minnesota Vikings, but a lot of things to get to. So as we get started, uh, Nick, I want to just uh, bring everybody over to our prediction center. And why don't we get started with the NFC? All right, taking a look at the NFC, we're going to start off with number seven, where we see the Washington football team come into the fray. At number six, the San Francisco 49ers. And at number five, the Los Angeles Rams. Number four, we see the Dallas Cowboys. Number three, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Number two, the Arizona Cardinals. And at number one, the Green Bay Packers. Nick, any surprises here for you or any teams that we should be on the lookout for? No, it seems like the NFC is actually pretty much a black and white picture at this point. You have your really good teams and your really bad teams. There is no in between. So we know who's at the top. But I think at this point, we ought to see which one of these teams is going to separate themselves from the rest. It's not only about beating or division but about proving that you can go up against the rest of your conference and beat them all to make it to the Super Bowl and right now is there a team out there that can get past the Green Bay Packers or the Arizona Cardinals to me there's not to me those are the only two true contenders coming out of the NFC right now and there's nobody that's getting in their way to me that is the NFC championship game as it stands it's interesting, right? Because we have the Packers at one and the Cardinals at two, where if you look back at our current standings, they're they're reversed. So at some point, we have the Cardinals at least winning a game, maybe two, where the Packers are going to stay steady and continue on with the, the way their season has gone so far. My concern is the back end of the NFC, the San Francisco 49ers and the Washington football team, because these two teams, while they're in the current standings for the playoffs, I think there's other teams that need to be mentioned. You have the Philadelphia Eagles and you have the Minnesota Vikings who are both in the playoff hunt. They are both in contention for these spots. And if Washington fumbles, especially with the way their schedule is laid out, they have two games against Philly. They have two games against Dallas and a game against the New York Giants. That is a lot of divisional matchups that Washington has coming up. If they fumble two or three of those, they are opening the door for the Eagles to come in and step all over them and just allow them to take their positioning. It's going to be a very wild ride to watch the end of this NFC playoff picture unfold. I'm excited to watch these teams as they battle it out in the position. Nonetheless, I, I think that we could see some shakeup at the six and seven spot. All right, let's move over to the AFC where we start off with number seven. We have the Baltimore Ravens coming in here at number six, the Los Angeles Chargers at number five, the Buffalo Bills. At number four, we see the Tennessee Titans at number three, the Cincinnati Bengals at number two, the Kansas City Chiefs and at number one, New England Patriots. Nick, again, any teams that surprise you, any teams that may or may not enter the fray that we're not talking about just yet. Yeah, well, I, I definitely want to talk about the Baltimore Ravens because I think there's a lot of contention around whether the Baltimore Ravens, now without Marlon Humphrey, are going to be even in the playoffs at all. And you see him at seven, and I know, Mike, you don't like them in the playoff picture as it stands, 
but I believe that the Baltimore Ravens with the coaching staff that they have, which is incredible, Lamar Jackson, even though a lot of teams have had success recently against him, he's still incredibly hard to handle and he could have one of those electric games at any given moment. It doesn't matter if you have a game plan to stop this guy, he can ruin it with one single run and then your entire game script is flipped upside down and guess what? The Ravens are on top. We've seen it time and time again. There's no reason it couldn't happen at any given moment moving forward and they have some tough games which i believe they'll definitely lose but i believe they with the record they have now and with the the games in front of them they'll be able to win enough that will make them the seventh seed in the afc you look at the colts you look at the dolphins you look at the the raiders teams that are on the fringe of being in the playoffs i just think the ravens currently have a good enough record ahead of them and they'll all go on to win two to three more games where the, it's going to be the same situation. The Ravens will be one game ahead of where they need to be and they'll make the playoffs. When we kind of went through the schedules and everything else pre-show, uh, I, I talked a lot about the Colts. I think the Colts are an absolutely stacked team that is on fire at the moment. They have a vigorous schedule moving forward i mean they're taking on some of the toughest teams in the nfl the los angeles rams the arizona cardinals the new england patriots all in their final four games that they have on their schedule it's not going to look pretty for them so i think that the colts have to really show us that they deserve to be in the afc playoff picture but i want to keep a team that you didn't mention in our minds and that be the pittsburgh steelers now you could say the pittsburgh steelers have looked anemic at times and honestly i would agree with you i didn't even think they are where they currently sit but they're the number eight seed they are one spot out of a playoff spot right now and the Pittsburgh Steelers, 6-5-1, the team that tied with the Detroit Lions, is currently sitting here just beating Baltimore and saying, uh, hello guys, we could enter the fray. We are only a half game behind Buffalo, Cincinnati, and Los Angeles. I think the Pittsburgh Steelers could cause a lot of issues moving forward. I think they're definitely a team to watch that could end up supplanting either the Chargers, the Bengals, or the Bills. I, I think it's somewhat possible but at the end of the day do you trust big ben to get the job done do you expect them to be able to stop opposing offenses with their defense like tj watt and minka are good enough right now but no one else is doing their job so can they keep this defense steady to get them in the playoffs i just don't think that they'll be able to reach the Ravens or even the Dolphins, the Colts. Like these are teams that are much better. That's why I didn't even mention them because I don't think they belong in the same conversation. The record is keeping them there, but the play on the field is not. All right, well, I want to hear from you guys. So let us know in the comments down below what you think of our AFC and NFC playoff predictions. Which teams do you think that will get in that we didn't talk about? And let us know if you think we got any of them wrong. I want to hear from you guys. Who are you taking out? Who are you putting in? All right, well, that's going to be all for now. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. We go live every single day. That'll be all. Peace and love.